authorities just held a news conference with an update on the deadly bus shooting in Lebec. One person was killed, five others were injured. Authorities are now trying to figure out the motive behind that shooting. KTLA 5's Aaron Myers is live in Lebec with the latest Aaron. Good morning, YouTube. That is the question. Why did the gunman open fire? We do know that he has not been interviewed yet, so they are still working on getting that information. But we do know one person killed, two others in critical condition. And you can see the bus is still here behind me, investigators here at the scene. And we know some of the passengers are here as well, uh, waiting to either go home by relatives picking them up or getting on another bus. Now, this is what we know so far. The Greyhound bus left Los Angeles and was heading to San Francisco on the northbound five when this gunman opened fire in the Fort Tejon area just before 1.30 this morning. We're told there were 43 passengers plus the driver on board. And investigators are saying the passengers took heroic actions, were able to subdue the shooter. The bus driver then pulled to the side of the road and they got the shooter off the bus without his weapon, a semi-automatic handgun, we're told. Investigators did find extra magazines as well. We know the bus driver drove to the next exit, Grapevine Road, and pulled into a Valero gas station to get help for the victims. At least one passenger provided life-saving mess uh, messages or messages, measures, and this is what uh, investigators told us earlier. The bus driver, uh, his actions were uh, very appropriate and, and one could say heroic in the sense that he immediately pulled to the right shoulder and, uh, and the sequence of events, as I stated, that transpired, that ultimately resulted in the driver, I'm sorry, the suspect exiting the bus without the weapon. The bus driver was instrumental in all of that developing and all of that happening. Six people, unfortunately, were shot. Sadly, one, a female, died at the scene. Officers say she is a 51-year-old woman from Columbia. Five others were transported to the hospital, two in critical condition, one with major injuries, another with moderate, and one with minor. The suspect was taken into custody near where he was dropped off. Uh, but as I said, has not been interviewed yet. Uh, Greyhound has released a statement, part of it saying this, our thoughts and prayers go out to everyone and every family member impacted by the incident. Today, we are gathering details and will assist the Kern County Police in every way possible during their investigation. Uh, back here live, once again, you can see the bus right there and investigators, we do know the coroner is here on the scene as well. Uh, at this time though, investigators do not have a motive for why this happened. They are still trying to figure that out. We do know two children were also on the bus. Fortunately, they were not hurt. That's the very latest here in Lebec. I'm Erin Myers. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right. Thank you very much.